Thursday morning. All right, everybody, get ready. Fans of Gossip Girl will recognize our next guest as Chuck from the hit show. But starting tomorrow, they'll know him from a remake of the classic that is Romeo and Juliet. Ed Westwick joins us live this morning. E-Dub, how are you, sir? Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody? Oh, I'm fantastic. I'm hopped up on caffeine, so I'm ready to rock with you right now. You know, there have been so many... <laughs> Good stuff. There's so many um, adaptations of Romeo and Juliet. What's different about this one here? What are we going to be looking forward to? Well, we had the magical Julian Fellows adapting ours, who everybody knows from Gosford Park and Downton Abbey. Um, and, you know, I think Julian brought his own um, unique genius to our version. Um, you know, we, we adapted the language a bit and, um, and some of the scene work and uh, I think made it a little bit more accessible perhaps to a contemporary audience. You know, the original language is 600 years old, right. so um, as, we, uh, as we stray further and further from that, you know, perhaps some of us don't understand it as well as, you know, as, we, as, as we'd like to. So um, I, think, I think what it does is it opens it up. But, um, and also in this version I'm in it, so that's a bit different. <laughs> that is a little bit different. Hey, you know, what has the transition been like for you personally, making that, that transition from Gossip Girl into now finding new and different projects to be a part of? Is it easy for you or has it been a challenge? Um, it's been an interesting transition. You know, after doing uh, Gossip Girl for six years and playing, you know, the same character, um, it, was a, it was a different thing, you know. All of a sudden, you've got a bit more free time on your hands. Yeah. And, um, you know, you're looking for something different and something fresh to do, and that's what you want, or at least what I wanted as an actor, was to kind of uh, go from different project to different project and, you know, explore new, uh, new, new things. So, you know, I've, um, I've, I've been fortunate enough to, uh, to, uh, to achieve that, I think. You know, I just finished a film called Kitchen Sink, which was completely different from anything I'd done before. And obviously, Romeo and Juliet's coming out, which is uh, a very different genre again and very different uh, piece. So, uh, you know, so far, so good. Nice. Good for you. You always did seem a bit more mature than the other members on the cast. No knock on that, but you just had this thing about you where you <laughs> seem a bit more mature and a bit more worldly, even though you're still very young. I had some emails from viewers. We told them we were going to talk to you, and they wanted to ask about your band, The Filthy Youth. Is that something that you're still a part of, or is that on hiatus? What's going on with that? You know, unfortunately, that, um, that finished quite a while ago. Okay. Um, you know, that was something that I enjoyed when I was, uh, when I was actually back in the UK, so it was quite a while ago. Um, but, uh, but nonetheless, people, uh, you know, track down some of the music that we used to do and people have liked it. So, you know, if it's still out there and people are liking it, thank you very much. Well, you've said, that, you've said that music kind of frees you. It's one of those things you really like to do. So you obviously still probably play in your spare time, just not necessarily in a band right now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, anybody who plays an instrument or has that um, is fortunate enough to have, to have learned at some stage. I mean, knows the uh, knows how wonderful it is. You know that that connection that you can have. But no, you know, I've got a couple of guitars, and um, mm -hmm. you know, occasionally, uh, you know, cause a bit of a ruckus and annoy the neighbors. <laughs> so uh, it's all good. That's what you're supposed to do with it. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. Ed Westwick, thank you so much for your time, man. Good luck with Romeo and Juliet and the rest of your projects. We hope to talk Thanks to you again lot. soon, man.